Hi you guys, so Katie's Wendy here. Today we're gonna draw a black cat from Squishmallows that's all dressed up and ready to celebrate Halloween. So let's get started. To draw this cute pumpkin cat, let's first start by drawing its eyes. So I'm gonna come right here and draw a big circle. And I'm gonna come right next to it, say about this wide, and draw another circle. Now that my two circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. So it's a little bit tricky because it's a black cat. So when you're, if you're planning on coloring it, just put a white border around the eyes. That will help pop out the eyes. There. So now with my eyes in, I'm going to come to the sides right here above each eye and just draw a soft curve. And then in between the eyes, let's draw a nose. So say about right here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a soft curve, round off the sides and then connect it at the bottom, right in the center of a little widen out V. Then let's come to the center, go straight down with a little line and then we're going to curve out on both sides. There. Very happy little cat, right? Okay, so then now that we have that in, let's go ahead and we're going to frame the face. So I'm gonna to come to the center of my eye, just come out, give myself a little dot, and same thing right here, just so I know where I'm going. And from there, I'm gonna draw basically uh, my usual dumpling shape. So I'm gonna go up. So this is just the opening of our pumpkin costume for the face, so about right here is my center and then we're just gonna go down. I just wanna draw this ovalish dumpling shape. There, it's a big curve and then we're just gonna bring this around. It's a little bit wider on the sides and then we're gonna flatten it out towards the bottom. And let's find my center, so let's say about right here. Give myself a point so I know where I'm going since I'm drawing pretty big. So let's bring this down and like I said, the bottom is going to be a little bit flatter and wider. Right there. And connect. So definitely turn your paper or your body, whatever it takes to help you draw this curve. Bring this down a little bit more. Now that I'm looking at my camera. <laughs> okay. All right, now I'm being a stickler. Okay, so now that we have this big curve in, let's come back right here underneath the eyes, but right here, we're just gonna draw two whiskers. So just two angle lines. Now I'll just come in here and thicken it up. And same thing on this side. And here. There. So now I have whiskers in, let's go ahead and frame this and draw a pumpkin, right? So I'm going to come up. Let's just go to center again. We're gonna come out nice and wide, say about right here. And we'll do the same thing again. Just come out, let's just give myself a point about right here. And now I'm just gonna draw this even a taller version of this right here. So let's go up. And it really doesn't matter. We just wanna draw that typical squishmallow shape. So say nice and high, big pumpkin, about my center, about right here. Come in here, fix my curve, and then we can bring it down. To our point back there. And then let's go to the bottom. We're just gonna draw the same thing, a little bit wider here, and then it's gonna come in for our usual um, squish little shape. So let's bring this down. That's all up to you how tall you want your pumpkin to be. 
And see about right there, I'll go ahead and bring it in and flatten it out towards the bottom. There, almost looks like an avocado, right? <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's come to the center right here. We're going to draw a stem right in the center. So up, we're gonna be a little bit wider right here and then just bring it in. And then we're going to draw the crown of our pumpkin. So let's come in here and we're just gonna draw maybe four of these. So come in, we'll curve, and then we're gonna to go towards the center and same thing on this side up and then down there and then let's see here it's not a strawberry it's a it's a pumpkin right and so what we need to do is if you're um, coloring just find a darker orange but i wanted to show you you would just draw these lines about right here so we know it's a pumpkin so we're just going to follow our pumpkin shape and of course we have to color it orange and right there and then one two more so about right here imagine it coming through and like I said just remember if you have a darker orange just use that then you don't have to have a sharp harsh black line and one more. So these lines just help give our pumpkin some volume and um, details, right? Okay, there. And then now let's go ahead. We have to draw some ears so we know it's a cat. So find this area right here. I'm just going to go ahead, come about right here and go up, round off my tip, and then bring it in. And then we'll draw the inside. Just follow your outside. And I'll drag a point across about right here. So definitely check out all my, um, I've drawn some, I think a ghost from Squishmallows this year. And thank you for loving that. So hopefully you love this just as much. I thought it was so cute when I saw it. So, and right there and then the inside. And connect there and last but not least let's add i'll add a heart oh let's say right here just a small little heart to make it my draw so cute um, black cat that is all dressed up as a pumpkin to celebrate Halloween. I really hope you found this fun and easy to follow along with me today. And if you did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.